Hey folks, Dr. Alex Harrison here and RD CSSD Michelle Howe here presenting you yet another product that has shameful marketing and actually not the worst ingredients this time. I can't, I can't knock them too, too bad, but the marketing makes me want it. I won't say it. And that product is Never Seconds, let's see, what do they call us? High Carb Drink Mix C90 in the citrus flavor. So this is founded by Bill Armstrong and his chief science officer is one of your favorites. Dr. Asker J, Dr. J. I've heard his name pronounced 48 different ways. 47 of those I've said, and I don't actually know how to say his last name. Oh. I can give the folks some backstory on yeah. Doc Dr. J. Yeah, go so on. Where, did, where did Dr. J get his start? He was a uh, researcher at the University of Birmingham back in 1990 something. Did some groundbreaking research in carbohydrate metabolism during endurance exercise. Was also a triathlete, an Ironman triathlete himself. Then was recruited by Gatorade to be their head of sports science, head of the Gatorade Sports Science Institute, uh, where they pushed his dogmatic thinking about carbohydrate hydrates and the amounts that you can consume and absorb during exercise for the better part of 20 years, which is where we get our 60, 90 numbers that you hear so often. And lo and behold, Dr. J in 2021 founded Never Second and has started a company based on those same numbers that he still seems to believe are optimal for endurance performance. I mean, this is called C90. So first of all, let's just back up. This actually is a pretty decent product. There's nothing in here that is horrendous there's nothing in here that makes zero sense this is overall pretty well done it's just the marketing is as cliche as it comes yeah it's very cliche and it's also how do i say this i'm just gonna skip that actually uh okay you can go you ahead and talk you, about the back you don't want to burn too many bridges <laughs> no, I, no it's not that i'm afraid to burn bridges i i really am not afraid of that i just don't want to be disrespectful and attacking someone's character unnecessarily i feel like that's not right to do that. not a right thing okay to so do. i'll do it no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy named the glucose fructose ratio that we talk about all the time on this channel that he did contribute to uh, the popularity of back in the early 2000s and certainly contributed in a bigger way when he was working at Gatorade 2011, 2010 to 2014 ish. He branded that as AJ21. His initials are AJ and then two to one being the glucose fructose ratio of two to one, which we all know is not actually magical in any way. It is useful to have multiple transportable carbohydrates like glucose and fructose, but probably closer to one-to-one -one is more optimal in most cases. So he branded this as AJ21 because it does deliver two to one using maltodextrin and fructose, which are great options. And then second, his favorite buzzword apparently is isotonic, and then he's got pH neutral. So it's like, it's like the top three of all time. As far as marketing goes? As far as marketing buzzwordy things? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really well executed the marketing because none of these things, well, the two to one is wrong, but pH neutral, that's not necessarily a bad thing at all. I mean, we don't want something ex extremely acidic or extremely basic, otherwise we are going to have GI distress. So pH neutral, great, but why are we bringing that up? I mean, that's like a very obvious thing that we would want. So it's kind of weird that that's even included. I think right below that you see QC, quality controlled and tested. And my first thought is, well, goodness, I would hope so. Like, why would we, why would we even put that on there? Because their designer needed a sixth one to fill the sixth <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Yeah, and then uh, over here we have Na plus, so sodium ion, and it says, let's see, 20 milligrams of sodium for more rapid water absorption. That again is not anything new. That's true for any product with sodium in it. Um, isotonic, we talked about that just earlier today. That is essentially a made-up term. Their never second guidance system, which comes with little three dots, just like like a little app icon that you'd hit with three dots for more information. I'm, I'm guessing that if you go on their website, they have a guidance system that will help you buy more of this. For sure. Yeah, it says never second guidance system, trademark, works with all never second trademark products. I mean, I would hope so. Okay, as predicted, it has 90 grams of carbs, and interestingly, it has 35 grams of sugar. So while he's got it branded AJ21, it's not actually the two to one ratio. It is nudged ever so slightly closer to one to one because somebody in the behind the scenes knew that that was better. I believe it's like one to 0.6 or something, right? So like two to 1.2. Mm-hmm. 
Gotcha. Close-ish, but not quite. And then their primary sodium ingredient, like you said, is sodium citrate. Awesome. And then natural flavors. This actually is, as far as the ingredients list, one of the best products on the market. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should we ask how much it costs? Yeah, so that's another thing. I don't think I want to know um, because this is one serving. This pouch here is 90 grams of carbs. That's not even enough for an hour of hard training for me. No, I don't want to know how much it costs. Also, I have concerns. If this is for one hour of training and it only has 200 milligrams of sodium. Yeah, you'd have to add sodium for sure. You need to add like yeah. almost a half a teaspoon of salt to make this optimal for most folks. Yeah, let's go ahead and look and see what they recommend water-wise for this. It says you're supposed to use this package in let's see, 500 milliliters of water. So they recommend two pouches of this per liter of water. So if you put two pouches in one liter of water, that would mean you would get 400 milligrams of sodium and 180 grams of carbohydrates. That's pretty low sodium for a liter of water. It's like yeah, a good, super cold training fuel. Yeah. Super I, cold. I mean, <laughs> freezing. and really not a salty sweater, not a heavy sweater at all. I mean, this is like hyponatremia just waiting to happen. So basically, he's recreating the same problems that Gatorade had for years, which is killing people at marathons. Mm. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to get sued. But that's really <laughs> legit what happened. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, look it up. <laughs> I'd rather get sued and have someone not die from hyponatremia. Yeah, for sure. I'm just saying. I mean, you can survive getting sued. You can't survive dying from hyponatremia. I think they probably cover themselves by saying only drink 500 mils of water with this. Yeah, probably. They're not encouraging over drinking. But most people, when they think 90 grams of carbs, might put it with a little bit more water so that they stay hydrated enough to actually continue to digest and absorb that amount of carbohydrate every hour because it will take more than 500 mils of water. Yeah. Yeah, if you are really just truly not drinking very much water and it's cold, you'd be fine. But should we look up how much it costs? I don't want to know because it's going Let's to be it extremely expensive. I mean, look how shiny this package is. Like this can't be cheap. It's just so sleek and nice. Science first, never second. So okay, I <laughs> what do you find? Are we ready for the pricing information? How much does this sleek package cost? Well, you have to buy eight of them. Okay. So eight servings. Eight servings. Mm -hmm. $38. So if you buy eight, it's $3.75 per package. So how much would it cost for you to go on your century ride over the weekend? I mean, it depends on what bike I'm riding. Let's say a road century, no mountain bike okay. stuff here. Well, it depends again on the elevation, but if it's flat, like four hours and 20 minutes okay let's make it a more human five hours five hours and let's say it's not you know flat and i would probably consume 120 grams of carbs per hour well 100 to 120 grams of carbs per hour so 600 grams of carbs over five hours mm -hmm. 600 divided by 90 yeah and i would need to add sodium i know that for, for sure. sure sodium citrate would be added to this five and a half servings so five and a half times three dollars and 75 cents plus tax and shipping we're talking about a 25 dollar bike ride in fuel alone yeah nice solid and if you do that a lot that does add up and again we've talked about this before but i think about what that money could go into it could go into a bike upgrade or new tubes or tires or sealant or kits or swim coaching if you're a triathlete or whatever else i mean running shoes running shoes yeah just so many things a sports massage i mean date night with your husband yeah a day off of work maybe or a, a vacation or i don't know so many things it adds up. this is a good product i'm not going to say that i mean the marketing is a little bit ridiculous but this is a good product i'm not going to say it's not but you can do just as well you can have just as good of a product truly with sugar and sodium citrate and water and some coffee or like part of a caffeine pill or something um this, is doesn't, even, this doesn't even have caffeine in it oh. so forget the caffeine just with sugar sodium citrate and water, you'd be just fine. And you could save a lot of money. And then you could go buy the bike eventually, or you could go on a date, or you could maybe take a vacation eventually. It adds up. Would you use it? Does it make the cut of, if you were given it for free, would you use it? Yeah, I would use this for sure. If this was given to me for free, and I just had access to this whenever I wanted, I would totally use this. I would just, again, add some sodium citrate to it. And yeah, it's a good product. It really is. I think the one thing that might frustrate me about it is that 
to fuel my three or four hour bike ride, I have to have like four single use packages uh, instead of being able to scoop into a bottle. Yeah, that's true. I do prefer minimizing waste, like package waste. How would you use this realistically? I would first laugh at AJ21 every time I open the package <laughs> and then I would, yeah, just make it part of my hourly fueling. Yeah. Actually, I take it back. Um, if I was given this for free, I would use it, but I would not use just this and salt. I would actually maybe go like 50% of my carbs came from this and then 50% of my carbs came from sugar just because there's not enough fructose in here. So I would use this for flavoring, but I wouldn't use this as like my main carb source. I feel like I could rag on this company for a long time. Um, yeah, I mean, you're just first. lucky <laughs> lucky that we're fatigued right now and sleep deprived. Otherwise, we'd have a lot more. <laughs> more yeah, let's, drink, let's drink this. some of that. and then <laughs> That has fuel rods in it. Yeah, the fuel rods endurance has got me covered. <laughs> So fuel, fuel Rods Endurance has a better sugar ratio than this science first, never second company with like literally the world's most well-known scientist of all time in the carb metabolism world uh, behind it. Fuel Rods Endurance made in Washington. Uh, Justin Horn, the triathlete, has a better sugar ratio and, and more adequate sodium content in his product than this. I agree. Yeah. Props to you, Justin. Do you want to try this? Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't do that. I thought I was bad for eating Oh, that's product. even worse. You're no, going to get it not. everywhere. Oh, God. It can't be worse than the other product we tried earlier today. Hmm. 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 I mean, you can't... <laughs> oh, it tastes this just is... like Gatorade. Imagine that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. that, that, is, that is better marketed Gatorade to endurance athletes. What does it taste? It tastes like... It's um, the same flavoring as Gatorade Lemon Lime. Yeah, it tastes like that oh with God. like Splenda. It's like Splenda mixed with that. Oh, it's because it's got less citric acid than yeah. Gatorade. It's not quite like... No. No, no, no. I almost guarantee they're using the same Lemon Lime flavor flavoring as Gatorade. Oh, for sure. It's just... It's not quite the same, I don't think. You like okay. Gatorade better? Yeah. Yeah. Corporate chill. Okay, I'm the one who drinks Speed Nectar Plain all the time. You always have to add some flavoring because you can't handle it. It's true. Okay, well, That's true. you know what? Here you go. Do you want the rest of this? I don't need that anymore. Folks, Gatorade 2.0. Until next time. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.